We are about to begin the English class. Please, everyone, start the cameras. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, all of you, for being here. Today, we start the week number two. Something quite important you'd like to tell your dear students is do not forget, please do not forget the activity on the Moodle platform. It's quite important that you carry it out, all right? Well, in this week, the week number two, we're going to learn some topics. Not only one like it was the last week that we learned about the present perfect. During this week, we're going to learn different topics, different structure. For today class, we're going to start it about adjectives. Can you read the subtitles in here? Adjectives. Probably you say, teacher, but the adjective, we already studied that in the module number one. Yes, we studied that in the module number one, but in the module number four, we need to, well, to practice in a different way. We're going to start the adjective, learning about the different degrees. In fact, a adjective has three different degrees, positive, competitive, and superlative. Okay, dear students. Uh, before the start of the activity, please, no se olviden, por favor, las actividades que están en la plataforma. Se van a subir más actividades. Así que, por favor, realizar las que están ahí. Don't forget, okay? Do, do that activity. It's quite important. Okay. It's time to start so well. As I said, once again, we're going to start in the adjective. Please, dear students, don't forget. Keep your cameras on. This meeting is being streamed on YouTube. Okay, for the better understanding, I'm going to share my screen again. So please give me a minute. I'm sorry for the noise, but I think it's actually the place where I live. My neighborhoods put the speaker, the seen the dance all the day long Jesus pretty difficult to describe that okay you tell me can you see the PowerPoint presentation yes okay so as usual we're going to learn as I said about adjectives so what is an adjective Basically, an adjective is a word that describes or give more information about a noun. So don't forget, I repeat, adjectives are words to describe or give more information about a noun. Uh, I, I know I understand there is a student. Let, let me stop here. As I always said, I'm not keen on teaching grammar, but for today class, we need to learn grammar. I'm sorry. So please, ears up, okay? Ears up. Try to understand. If you don't, you can read the subtitles in here, right? Read the subtitles here. Okay, now, please. For today class, we're going to learn about the adjectives. Don't forget, adjectives add words that described a noun or give more information okay so you probably wonder a teacher but I don't remember what is a noun well nouns are people objects animals I repeat nouns people objects animals what is an adjective? An adjective gives more information about this. For example, look at me. This is a pen. 
Can you see the color? Black. Black is an adjective because it described the pen. So we say black pen. Black is an adjective. Is giving more information about the noun. This is a noun. Take a look. This piece of paper. You see? Paper is a noun. So I can use an adjective to give more information. What adjective can we add it to this sentence? Well, we can use the color white. White paper. Long. Long paper. Short. It's a short piece of paper. So basically, that is an adjective. Okay? It's the same way we use in our language. In English, it's a little bit different. Because when we use this kinds of the adjective, you see this pen? We said, it's a black pen. Black is an adjective. Pen is a noun. En nuestro idioma es diferente a inglés. Nosotros decimos es una pluma negra. O es una pluma de color negro, ok? Una pluma negra. La palabra negro o negra en este caso es el adjetivo. En nuestro idioma, el castellano, pues los adjetivos comúnmente van después del sustantivo. Polígrafo o pluma negra. En inglés es lo contrario. Comúnmente los adjetivos van delante. Es como que usted dijera literalmente negra pluma. Ok, en inglés es así. It's a black pen. Pero se traduce es una pluma negra. You see? Ok, so be careful with that. Now, let me share my screen again. Ok, I'm going to share the link again. So please register the attendance. That's the link. Wow, 68 students. Too many students for this class. Unbelievable. Very good. Objectives. Okay, the first thing that we need to learn is the concept, the definition. What the heck is an adjective? Kevin Zambrano, good evening. Could you please read what you see on the screen? Thank you. Okay, remember, adjetivo es una palabra que describe o da más información de un sustantivo. Recordemos, repito, los estudiantes que estuvieron conmigo. Sustantivo es persona, animal o cosa, punto. Describe un sustantivo o un pronombre. Pronombres personales, recuerda. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, or they. Or probably can be father, mother, the doctor, the students, Kevin, Maria. Okay, those are pronouns or nouns. So then adjective give us more information about that. Let's see some examples. I'm sorry. Okay, here we have three different examples. I'm going to pick up one of students to help me out. My dear and Dom, good evening. Could you please read the three examples for me? Okay. okay. A big cat is in my yard. Mm -hmm. My yard is thirsty. He looks happy. Thank you very much. Okay. So, in each sentence, we have an adjective. In the sentence number one, the adjective big big cat is a big cat in the sentence number two the adjective is thirsty and in the sentence number three the adjective is happy so we have big thirsty and happy 
three objective. Now, let's take a look to understand in a better way. Do you see the word cat? Cat is a noun. So the adjective is giving us more information about this noun. Un gato grande or a big cat. Como usted observa en inglés, pues los adjetivos van antes. Pero en nuestro idioma el castellano se lo traduce como debe ser. Un gato grande. Aquí dice el pero así es la estructura de inglés. Al momento de interpretar o traducir quizás esta, esta oración, pues tenemos que hacerla de manera que concuerde en nuestro idioma. All right? No se olvide adjetivos comúnmente delante de sustantivos, como la primera oración. A big cat is in my yard. In the second sentence, como usted observa en la oración 2, el adjetivo aquí es la palabra thirsty, que significa set. They are thirsty. Ok? Thirsty es el adjetivo. Otra forma de usar un adjetivo en inglés, pues es también después del verbo to be. ¿Puedo observar el verbo ahí? En la segunda oración, el verbo to be aquí es representado por la palabra are. They are thirsty. Thirsty. Como usted observa, después del verbo to be, pues podemos incluir un adjetivo. And in the sentence number three, we have a verb. Tenemos un verbo que es look. Comúnmente cuando utilizamos verbos que, pues, que den la idea pues, de semejanza o cómo luce algo, el verbo to be también va después. Perdón, el adjetivo va después. For example, he looks happy. Let's see another slide. Okay, I'm going to pick up another student. Please, guys, I need your, uh, your participation. Please, try to keep your cameras on. I can't believe it. 68 students. Now, 60 students. I can't believe it. Please, try to keep your cameras on. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, I'm going to pick up another student, Carlos Cotto. Good evening. Could you please read this for me? Adjectives are usually in front of nouns. Mm -hmm. Go on, on keep reading. My jar. Yes. Or, or after the verb. Is, um, are, are, was, were. They are thirsty. Or, or after, after the sense. The sense. Look, feel, smell, taste, sound. He looks happy. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, this is the way we can use the adjectives. Remember, in the number one, adjectives are usually in front of nouns. Big cat, big dogs, small cat, small dogs spancy cell phone, cheap cell phones, and so on. And the way to use the adjective is after the verb to be. As you can see in the example we have in the present, in the past of the verb to be. Is, am, are, was, where. In the example, they are thirsty. We can change the adjective, no problem. We can say, they are hungry. All right? They are sleepy, and so on. And the third way to use the adjective is about the sense, right? We can use the verb such as look, feel, smell, taste, sound. So after these three verbs, we can use an adjective. He looks happy. Okay, so we're going to practice. Please, I beg you, please. I beg you, today class is going to be about grammar, so be patient. 
Don't leave the meeting without saying anything. Do not forget that. And in your participation, these are your names. Every single class, I jab down your names if you don't participate. That is pretty important, dear students. All right? Every time I call you up, you say present. Just try. I need your participation. I can't believe that you are more than 60 students and how of them don't want to participate in the class. Remember, this is the module number four and I need you to practice. All right? Deal. Okay, let me share my screen again. Okay, Maria Mercedes, no problem. No problem. I understand. Late, later, I'll give you an answer. Okay. Well, as you can see, we have eight different sentences. They are eight sentences. Each of them has an adjective, a, a noun. Adjective and noun. I need you to read carefully each of them. Circle. Obviously, you can circle. Okay. I want you to, I don't know, to identify the adjective and the noun adjective and noun right it's eight sentences find out where the adjective and nouns are all right so for this activity you will have three minutes do it please I repeat, please try to follow me. I ask you to look for the adjective and the noun, please. They are A sentences. Look for them. Three minutes. Mister, buenas noches. ¿Me podría ayudar con el link de la asistencia, por favor? Two minutes. Come on, guys.
one minute. Okay, it's time to start. I'm going to ask a few students to practice with me. Remember, the first step that you'd like to carry out is I want you to read the sentence, read the complete sentence, and then tell me where or what the adjective is. Okay, what's the adjective? Where the adjective is. Okay. Here we go. Samuel Velasco, could you please read the sentence number one and tell me what the adjective is? It's a nice day today. today. Okay, can, can you repeat? Read again the sentence and then tell me the adjective, please. It's a nice day today. Mm -hmm. Well, they is not the adjective. They uh, is actually the nice, noun. Nice, 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 Correct, sir. Nice, nice, nice. is the adjective. Nice, nice. Perfect. Thank you. Let me see. Paulina Visueta, read the sentence number two and the same thing. Give me the adjective, please. I can barely hear you. Could you please speak up? Paulina, no te escucho. Podrías hablar un poco más alto. Laura has got brown eyes. Okay, what, what's the adjective? Laura. Mm, Laura? No, unfortunately, Laura. that's not correct. Brown. Okay, brown, correct, brown. The color is the adjective because it might be different. Green eyes, blue eyes, gray eyes, and so on. Thank you. So, and the number two, the adjective is the word brown. Thank you. Neyser Garcia, please read the sentence number three for me. Nacer, are you there? Can you hear me? No, Nacer is not here. Jorge Ochoa, good evening, sir. Please read the number three for me. Could you could you please speak up? I don't know if it is my computer, your microphone, the internet connection, but I can barely hear you. Can you repeat, mister? Number three. Speak up. Okay, so what's the adjective? Okay, just one word. Italian. Solamente es el adjetivo, okay? Recordemos que adjetivos es el que va a modificar el sustantivo, en este caso comida, ¿ok? Porque puede ser comida china, Chinese food. Puede ser europea, European food. Ecuatoriana, Ecuadorian food. So the word Italian is actually the adjective. Thank you. Let's move on. Mayra Mora Zuniga, could you please read the number four for me and tell me where the adjective is? No? It's not here? Okay. Remember, the participation is Mister, pretty Mister, important. Mister, Mister, Mister. This is your name. Okay. Okay, number four. Read the number four. The 
greater is nice to die. Okay, so what is the adjective? Um, weather. Weather. Mm, no, I'm sorry. Weather is not the adjective. It's night. Nice. Correct. Thank you. You see, it's not difficult. Lorena Medina, good evening. Please read sentence number five for me. Let's what is the yeah, adjective? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Correct. Thank you. You see? Not difficult. Ginger Macias, six, please. I'm hungry. What's the adjective? Hungry. Yes. Thank you. Halmar Reyes, number seven. Please read number seven. Can play, play. Big okay, so what is the adjective? Yeah. Excuse me, can you repeat that? Yeah. Okay, the number seven, mister, the adjective is quiet. El adjetivo en la siete es la última palabra, mister, okay? Quiet. Number eight. Ah, oh, we get two more volunteers, okay? Joel Candelario, could you please read the last sentence for me? To break. That's, that's horrible. Okay, what's the adjective? Horrible. Okay, yes, horrible. That is the adjective, okay? So now, you will have 30 seconds now. And I'm going to pick up three more students. These three students will tell me the adjective only. One, two, three. The adjective only. Four, five, six. The adjective only. Seven and eight. 30 seconds. Sure, tell me. Okay, I'm going to pick up three more students, and this student have to tell me the adjective only. For example, number one, two, and three, they're going to describe or tell us the adjective only, right? Three different students, no problem. Okay, let me see. I need the participation. The problem now is too many students. Okay, Kenya Avila, good evening. Could you please help me with the adjective? Sentence one, two, and three, please. Can you have it, Can you hear me? Aquí estoy, mister. Tengo que leer la uno, la dos, la tres. No, no, no. Just the adjective only. Solo los adjetivos. Uno, dos, tres. Por favor, ¿cuáles son? El primero, no, nice. El segundo, brown. Y el tercero, Italia. Good. Okay, but try to speak in English. Thank you. Kevin Zambrano, please. Number four, five, and six. Kevin, 
Can you hear me? Please, four, five, and six. Give me the adjective. Could you could you please speak up? Okay, no, no, no. Do do not read the complete sentence. I just want you to tell me the adjective only. Tell me the adjectives. ¿Cuáles son los adjetivos? Solamente los adjetivos 4, 5 y 6, por favor. Ok, en el número 6, yes, hungry. 4 y 5 no. En la 4 y 5 es nice, 5, beautiful. Ok, don't forget. Juan Pita, please help me. 7 and number 8. Number seven, Jack. Number eight, horrible. Yes, thank you. You see, seven quite eight horrible. Thank you. Congratulations, dear students. Okay, so basically that's the way to learn vocabulary because objective there is no uh, a nice or a concrete definition. How to recognize a noun because even nouns can be considered adjectives. Okay, so we need to work a lot to practice a lot. So you will see if this word work is an adjective. Okay, so let me share again my screen. You will see. Okay, give a minute. Look, this is a picture about a car. So what can we say about the car? ¿Qué podemos decir del auto? Ahí tenemos pues tres oraciones. Como usted observa, aquí tenemos adjetivos. El primero es red, el segundo old y el tercero great. Red, old, great. So, great, old, and red are the adjective. Cada uno, pues, el primero, como usted observa, está después del verbo to be, que es is. The car is red. And the number two is after the verb to be again. It is old. And the number three, it looks great. Nice. Okay, we need to practice a lot in order to understand and learn more words that work as an adjective, all right? So please give me a minute. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, please give a minute, give a minute. Jesus. Okay, close. No. I'm gonna share my screen, please give a minute. There you go. So, what we're we going to do right now? As you can see, we have six pictures and we have some words in pink color. And I want you to match the pink color words with the pictures. So you have to start with he is or she is or plural form. They are. Okay? All these words are adjectives. So you complete by looking all this picture. For this activity, dear students, you will have three minutes. Complete it, please.
one minute. One student have already left the meeting. Do not forget, if you have an emergency or something, do not leave the meeting without saying anything. Quickly guys, you got one minute. Please give me a few minutes. I think I got problem with my internet connection. It started raining here. So please give me a minute. Do not go.
I'm sorry, I think I need to change the camera. So please give a minute. Okay, let's practice. I'm so sorry students, here it start raining. So it's a little bit difficult sometimes at the beginning because my internet connection is unstable. So let's pick up another students. As I said, oh, we have volunteers, that's nice. Brian Galarza Pluas, please help me with the number one. He is a last. Okay, yes, very good. Tamara Briones, please help me with the number two. He is uh, both. Can, can you repeat? He is or she is? She is a boss. Okay, this is the word bossy, all right? Means mandona or mandom is an adjective. Thank you. You know, it's not difficult. Okay, Castro Carpio, please, number three. Castro Carpio, can you hear me? Number three, sir. Okay, can you repeat the number three again? Okay, he's stressed. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you visit stress, no problem. Let's find it out later. Diana Lozano, please. Number four. They are a spark. Can you repeat? They are? Support. Supportive. Correct. Thank you. Next, Tormora. Number five, please. She is type type. Okay, yes, that's correct. Repeat with me. Talkative. Can you repeat me, sir? Talkative. Okay, talkative. No problem. I need you to practice, man. Why do you want to practice with me? Jesus. Kevin Sambrano, please. Number six. Okay, yes, he's late. He's late. Well, so all this word in pink color, they are adjective. Okay? So remember, we can use different adjectives. In this case, it's like the way how the people feel. <laughs> okay, someone wants to eat ceviche? Really? Now? It's night. In the morning, yes. Afternoon, probably. Night? Well, no problem. Let's continue. Okay, dear students, let's carry out this activity. Please give a minute. Okay, now, now we're going to what? I need you to match. Match means unir. You going to match from the number one up to the number six. N one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're the same adjective. You going to look for the opposite. Look for the opposite in the older group A, B, C, D, E, and F. All right. Look for the opposite. For this activity, you will have three minutes. Do it, please.
one minute. Time's up. Let's practice. Andrea Segura, please help me out with the adjective one. What's the opposite? Andrea, are you there? Okay, okay. mister. Number one, read the number one and then the opposite. No? Okay, no problem. Uh, we have volunteers, you can pick up one of them. Tamara Briones, Montoya, please help me out. Number one, read the number one and then the opposite, please. Okay, but read. Number one, late, the opposite is. Read, please. Okay, exactly. Thank you. You see, it's not difficult. Let me pick up another student, Jenny Mi Castro Espinosa, please. Number two. No, Jeremy is not here. No, está Jeremy. Jeremy, no. Okay. Yes, speak up. Hable un poquito más fuerte, Jeremy. Okay, number two. Talkative. No se olvide su pronunciación. Talkative. So, what is the opposite of talkative? Quiet. Correct. Talkative. The opposite, quiet. Thank you. Okay, um, Josue Castro, please, number three. Supportive. Supportive. What is the opposite? Unhelpful. Can you repeat, please? Unhelpful. Yes, very good. You see? No difficult. Let me pick up another student. Lorena Medina, please. Number four. Okay, but read the number four and then the opposite. Do you hear? Okay, I want you to read the number four and then the opposite. For example, four, lazy. What's the opposite?
No? Okay. Yeah, no. Letter C. Yes, but read it. Lea, por favor. What is the letter C? That's the point. Um, working. Yes. Okay, no problem, miss. Ariel Quinto, please, number five. Stress, relax. Okay, stressed, relaxed. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. Elias Alvarado, please, number six. Okay. Now, the, for the number six, the opposite is easy going. Easy going. All right? No problem. Okay, so let's continue. It's raining a lot here. I'm sorry if you cannot hear properly. That might be the internet connection. Okay, so let's carry out the next activity. Okay, I want you to... Okay, give a minute. Listen. I want you to write or take a picture or a screenshot all these words. Si ya escribió, perfecto. Tómele una foto o un captura de pantalla. Vamos a utilizar estos adjetivos para la próxima actividad ok let's continue Okay, in this activity, as you can see, we have eight sentences. Eight different sentences. I want you to use two different adjectives to describe each person. You hear me? I want you to read each sentence and then use two different adjectives to describe each person. The number one is an example. Paul often gets to work 10 minutes after his colleagues and her never works. You see? So you can describe a reading of the sentence. You can use uh, the adjectives. Okay? So describe he's late and lazy. So in the same way, I want you to read its sentences or each sentence, sorry, and described by using two different adjectives. For this activity, dear students, you will have five minutes. Do it, please.
two minutes. This is gonna be the last activity for today class. Unfortunately, it's raining. It's pouring actually, and I can barely hear you guys. I don't have my headphones, they're broken. So please complete it. You have two minutes left. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, I will need um, 70 students. The same thing. I want you to read. I want you to read that complete sentence and then describe the person using two adjectives. Okay? Ah, oh, we get volunteers. That's perfect. Okay, Diana Suarez, please read the sentence number two and then describe the person. She is so Okay, listen, listen carefully. I, I understand, but I want you to read the complete sentence first. Okay, read. Read the sentence. Andrea does and she is never asleep. Okay, now describe. She is talkative and relaxed. Mm, talkative? No. No, it's not talkative. Look. Andrea doesn't like talking. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Ah, no, 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 no. So it's the opposite. Relaxed is correct, but use another adjective. She's quiet and relaxed. Okay? No problem, Andrea. Thank you. You did well. Lady Sambrano, thank you. Read the number three and describe. Arnold likes controlling his employees and he can never mm -hmm. He is controlling and stressful. Okay, stressed, correct, pero controlling, no estaba ese adjetivo. ¿Qué adjetivo puedes utilizar en vez de ese? ¿Cómo se decía mandón? Paz. 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 Yes. 
That is for the number three. No problem. Ok, eran los adjetivos que vimos hace un momento. Ok, lady. Ginger Castro, please. Uh, number four. Ronda is a great boss. She always helps you use wig or dust and doesn't control use at the time. Ok, now. Ok, supportive and. Supporting is correct, Miss. What is the other adjective that can you use to describe her? Easy going. Easy going. Correct. Thank you. Yes, I understand. Some of you has a problem due to the raining, but no problem. This is going to be the last activity for today, class. Carlos Cotto, please read the sentence number five. You have, you a, have problem, a problem, then go to Michael. Michael. He doesn't, he doesn't like, like helping people, people and he never, never works. works. Okay, so describe the person. He is unhelpful, unhelpful and lazy. Correct. Thank you. Good job. Janela Pluas, please. Number six. Christina, Christina is never late. She often wore in the evening and weekend. Okay, so use two adjective to describe her. She had working and punctual. Yes, very good. Angie Sambrano, go ahead, number seven. A man never ever has time. Okay, to adjective to describe this person. He is Yes, very good. Excellent. Hmm, good job. And um, Davy Karanki, please, number eight. Hey, this streets. But, but she loves talking about, about her life. Her colleagues don't, don't always want to want listen to, listen to her. her. Okay, give it to adjective to describe Haiti. Los dos adjetivos. No? This. Uh huh. It's nice. Okay, relaxed and? Nice. Okay, no, the number eight, it should be relaxed and talkative. Talkative. Okay. Well, dear students, unfortunately, I have problem with my internet connection due to the raining. It's pouring, actually. So this is going to be the last activity. We have 16 minutes left, but no problem, okay? For today class, okay, it's over. Just, just for today, okay? It's up. So that's it. So thank you very much, dear student, and I'll see you tomorrow, 6.30, okay? 6.30. Thank you. Oh, by the way, aquellos estudiantes que le faltan todavía... Podrán mañana dar el examen. Hoy ya se me complica. Tuve que cambiar de cámara, como están viendo. La cámara anterior es un poco mejor en HD y no soporta. Creo que es por la lluvia. Eh, está deficiente. Me sale a cada momento. Por lo menos a mí el, su internet está inestable. Entonces va a ser un poco complicado. Los estudiantes que faltan dar la prueba podrán realizarla mañana diez y media. Si ¿Sí me escucharon los estudiantes que faltan la prueba mañana diez y media, ¿está bien? Sí, para hacer un solo grupo. Mil disculpas ahorita, pero me sigue saliendo inestable la conexión de internet.
entonces para ya no correr el riesgo, quizás el día de mañana lluevo otra vez por la noche, intentemos hacerla en la mañana. Yo tengo tiempo 10 y media a 11 y media. ¿Les parece? Ok, escríbame por favor el grupo de Telegram. Yo voy a poner lo que estoy diciendo ahorita si está muy inestable la señal. Ok, thank you very much, dear students, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.